In this lecture, let's see how to use the GREP utility function. This utility function is used to create a new array from an existing array by taking the items that satisfy a filter function. So let's see how to use the grep utility function to create a new array from an existing array. So let me write the code dollar document dot ready. Within this I have to write function and here I need to write my code. So let me create an array where week days and this is an array and let me add the days Sunday, Monday till Saturday. You can add them. Now I have added Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Now suppose I want to get the days that starts with T. So we have Tuesday and Thursday that start with T. So I want to create a new array. So let me specify it as new ARR, it is N-E-W ARR, okay, and I am going to use the grep utility function. So we can use it like this dollar dot grep. As a first parameter, we need to pass the array from which we need to create a new array. Then we need to pass a filter function, and it should return a boolean value specifying whether that item should be selected or not. So if I specify function and the parameters of this function are item and index. So for the first one, the value of item will be Sunday and the index will be 0. Similarly, for Monday, it will be Monday and 1, Tuesday, Tuesday and 2 like that. So if we want to do something with the item, we can use this one. And if we want to do something related with position, we can use index. So in our case, we need to check whether the first character of each item starts with T or not. So how we can write it? We can specify return. Within this, I can specify the filter condition. So item dot car at zero equal equals T. What does that mean? Item will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday up to Saturday. And dot character at zero means it will select the first character. And if it is equal to T, I want to return, which means only those items with starting T will be returned in this new array. So this is what we need to write. And let us try to display this. So I want to display it in my div element with id result dot html. I want to display the current array and also the new array created. So current array then plus what is the current array it is weekdays then in the next line so i'm adding a line break i want to display the new array so new array then again a plus and i want to display new arr so let's see the output let me save this let me refresh see the current array is sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday and the new array is Tuesday and Thursday because this array contains the names that start with T. So only two are there Tuesday and Thursday. So here the filter condition is item dot character at zero equal equals T. Now suppose we want to display all the items that do not start with T. In that case we can pass one more argument to this grep utility function and that is the third argument and it is used to decide whether this should be inverted or not. So if I specify invert as true, which means the items that do not satisfy this criteria should be added into the array. So by default, the value of this parameter is false. So it will return all the items that satisfy this filter condition. And if I set the value of third parameter as true, it will return all the items that do not satisfy this condition. So in this case, it will be Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Let's see the output now. Let me refresh. See, it is Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Tuesday and Thursday are not added in this new array. Okay, so this is the grep utility function. And now we have just used the item parameter. 
which means the items in the array. Suppose you want to return the items with index less than 0 and greater than 5. So how we can write this? Let me remove this invert and what I can do is I can specify index greater than 0 and index less than 6 or 5 whatever it is. Here I am specifying index less than 6. So which all elements will be returned? Index greater than 0 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 will be returned and I have also specified index less than 6. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday should be returned. Let's see that. S refresh. See Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So actually the working days. So if I specify true here as a third parameter, we will get holidays that is Saturday and Sunday because this will be inverted or the values that do not satisfy this filter criteria will be returned in this case. So let me refresh. See Sunday and Saturday. So this grep utility function is used to filter an array or in other words to create a new array from an existing array by taking the elements that satisfy the specified filter condition. And here we need to specify return and then a condition which will return true or false. And if we do not have this value, the items filtered will be those ones that satisfy this particular condition. So we will get elements that satisfy the particular condition. So we can use grep utility function to create a new array from an existing array by taking the elements that satisfy the particular filter condition.